the great features that we get with Azure AD is the ability to periodically go through and reevaluate uh, some of the user groups and, and rights that have been given out within Azure Active Directory. Okay, and this of course works in conjunction with Azure AD as well as our Microsoft 365 services as well. And this feature is a feature called Access Reviews. Now, some of you guys that have been in the IT uh, field for a while, you probably know like one of the big uh, headaches that can sometimes arise is when, uh, you know, maybe we have somebody who, uh, let's say we hire a consultant or a contractor, and this, this person is working for the company, maybe doing some work temporarily, and then, um, you know, maybe their contract is up in like three months or six months or a year, or whatever. And so what happens is the person gets hired on, we add them to a, to a group, we've given them rights through this group, okay? We've given them uh, maybe role permissions or something. And, um, and then, you know, six months goes by and their contract is up and now they're no longer work for the company. Um, or maybe they're no longer involved in the project that they were working on and they're working on a different project now. And unfortunately, they still have all the same rights. Um, so, you know, and especially in that kind of scenario where maybe uh, you have somebody that joins the company, they're working on a project for a certain amount of time, and then they get moved over to do something else, and they no longer should have rights to this, uh, to this um, technology, this, app, this resource that we've given them access to. So um, Microsoft allows us to do this thing called access reviews. Access reviews will make it where periodically uh, access must be reviewed and determine if somebody should continue to uh, have access to something or be part of a group uh, to continue that um, that permission. So let's take a look at access reviews. Now we're going to start out here. We're on portal.azure.com. We're going to click on the menu button here. We're going to go down to Azure Active Directory. Okay, from there you have a blade called Identity Governance. We're going to go ahead and click on the Identity Governance blade here. And uh, once we get that open, you will see this thing called Access Reviews. So we're going to click on Access Reviews. And at that point, um, uh, it'll load and it'll tell you if you have any of these, which I don't. So I'm going to click to create a new Access Review. So from there, it's going to ask me, you know, what kind of Access Review are we talking about here? Are we is this going to involve teams and groups? Is this for a particular application? What is this for? Okay, so we're going to do teams plus groups. All right. So at that point, what are you? What is you? Are you doing this for? Is this in regards to your Microsoft 365 groups with guests? So maybe this is for, you know, groups involving your guests, uh, or is this specifically for uh, teams? Uh, involving Microsoft Teams groups. So I'm going to say Microsoft 365 groups with guest users. And at this point, we're going to say guest only scope. All right. So we're going to click new and um, we're going to look at this from the standpoint of maybe we're talking about a guest user who has been given rights, uh, been put into a group that's been given rights. And then periodically we need to review that and make sure that they still should be a part of this. So we're going to go right here where it says select reviewers and you can choose what kind of reviewer you're going to have. Whether it be the group owner uh, who's going to make the decision or a selected user who's going to make this decision. Another interesting thing is you can make it where users have to review themselves uh, and decide if they should be uh, part of the, that group anymore. So this is kind of based on the honor system, right? Um, and then, you know, the user would say, well, no, I'm not even working on that project anymore, so I shouldn't really be part of that group anymore. Uh, or you can do managers of users, which uh, involves you know whoever the manager is. If you look at the if you look at a user's attributes, there's an attribute called managers, and uh, whoever the the person is that's labeled as the person's manager would make this decision. So uh, I'm going to do a selected user group, and we'll say select the reviewers, and um, you know who's going to be the you know who's going to be the one that's going to handle. Uh, reviewing this. Maybe we have a person who reviews the groups and this is going to be maybe uh, this guy Alpha here. So we're going to choose this person, but you could use a group if you wanted to instead of a user to do this reviewing. And then how frequently do you want this review to occur? So you could do weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annual, annually. I'm going to do monthly and then you have the duration of 14 days there. 
All right. So what will happen is they're going to get this notification to let them know that, um, you know, it's it's time to get them to review this, uh, this group and make sure that the people that are in the group, uh, a guest or, or group settings that you're working with here, uh, whoever's in it needs to be reviewed and whether or not they need to be removed. So you can say never ending, so or you can say in on a, a specific date, or you could have this happen a certain number of times, and then at that point it would stop. So these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to click on next, and then at that point, do I want to? It says upon completion of these settings, do you want to auto apply results to the resource? Go ahead and enable it. If you're still making changes, you can keep it disabled for now. It says if the view reviewers don't respond, what do you want it to do? You remove access, approve access, or take recommendations. So I could say remove access. That's going to just remove uh, access to that group for the for that person. I could say approve access, which means just go ahead and let it go through. Um, um, and then I could say take recommendations, which take recommendations will be based on Microsoft's recommendations. And that's usually based on um, the security level that that group pretty much has. So I'll just say remove access. Enable reviewer decision helpers. This is going to have little notifications that pop up. So it says no sign in within 30 days. At that point, notice what it says. It says if enabled, system recommendations based on user access information will be shown to reviewers. All right. And then you have some advanced options here, like a justification. So somebody can give a justification, a reason to um, for approval. You have the email notification. So it's going to send emails to the reviewers uh, as reminders, as well as you have admins. And then uh, general reminders, this is going to, it tells you this is going to send uh, reminder emails for access reviews in progress to all reviewers at midpoint of the review. So you have the email notifications there to enable email notifications, and you have the reminders at the midpoint. And then you can also add uh, an additional uh, comment or message to the reviewer if you want. At that point, we click Next. And um, it's going to confirm what we're doing. All Microsoft 365 groups we've selected. Um, we did it for uh, teams and groups, right? We chose the monthly. We chose these settings here. And then, so that just kind of reviews what we did. And at that point, we can click Create. And so, and there you go. You've now created yourself a uh, an access review. It does take a few minutes to take effect and come on. But eventually it will come on. And at that point, too, we can also view reports on that. You've got additional settings you can you can look at. I'm not getting into the settings right now, but um, this is where your access review is going to be configured, and that's how you set it up. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again. <music>